We're trying to work towards uh, rechargeable zinc air batteries um, because uh, the problem with the primary ones are, is when you discharge the battery, the zinc ions um, react with the hydroxide electrolytes to form zinc oxide and that basically means we can't get a reversible system because we can't uh, reverse zinc in this case. My job is to design different types of electrolyte that can help uh, charge and discharge the zinc clients it's because it's all about the energy storage and these zinc air batteries do have um, potential for high energy storage. Uh, zinc is much cheaper because currently the lithium standard uh, batteries that we use have lithium ion batteries in them and lithium is quite uh, expensive um, and in terms of having an air as the cathode we don't really need to store it within the battery so that means zinc which is the active system there's more space for that in the battery and the electrolyte. So basically I'm trying to, uh, I've tried to recrystallize my um, ionic liquid, uh, it's actually the precursor which is the step before my um, ionic liquid and because it's quite hygroscopic it needs to be filtered under nitrogen so no moisture gets in and dissolves my ionic liquid. So all I'm doing here is putting it through the sintered funnel and then I flush it through. Here is the um, nitrogen filter and all I do is I flush it through. Sometimes you have to control the nitrogen level coming in and then you just stopper it and it just filters through like this and you can see the anything that I, all the liquid is coming out and my solid will stay there and I wash it out more with the solvent um, that will not dissolve the actual compound but will dissolve any impurities and let that flush through. This solid is for my next reaction so it has to be super dry because I do them usually in the dry conditions. Um, I react it with um, another substituent and add them together and I actually, um, that's when I design my new uh, electrolyte. Being part of ACES or being a collaborator with Deakin and Wollongong University, not only do you get to share your um, understanding of the project, but you also get to take in a lot from other universities and that helps in the collaboration and that helps um, expand on your project, I think.